what is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel um for those of you that haven't subbed i would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button it's free of charge it doesn't cost anything and it just shows your support for the channel which would be amazing anyway you're here for the tactics and we're doing a 424 today and this is my squad we have a well we have berbatov uh, a new addition and we recently evoed our rudiger who believe it or not is much better than varan um which yeah i was hoping that wasn't going to be the case but yeah evo and rudiger was a really good idea so right we have got weekend league gameplay amongst this um but let's get to the tactics now the tactics are slightly different to probably what you've seen before especially with this 424 formation and it is very conservative but there's a reason for that and that is to nullify the 4321 because obviously that is the the go-to formation at the minute and we're trying to find ways of basically beating that without using it so um this is what i've come up with it's balanced 55 width 50 depth balanced direct passing 50 seven in the box three in the box of corners one in the uh, for free kicks now i'm going to drop in all my weekend league gameplay so you're going to see some highlights of all the goals and and craziness that went on in the weekend league but stay tuned for the instructions they are not what you think they are and they are slightly different and like i say this is a very conservative formation so bear that in mind it is very much like two banks of four bank of two sit back soak up all the pressure then boom hit that four three two one on the counter attack so anyway hope you enjoy the gameplay hope you stay tuned and you watch it and then we'll come back to the instructions so i'll just repeat what i've just said we're we're trying to beat the four three two one that is the main goal but also we're trying to be I find it really aggressive, um, like where your your back four will step forward, um, and I don't want them to. I want them just to hold off a little bit. So we've changed a few things with the defence. We've changed changed a few things with the four two four in general, um, and yeah, this is the outcome. I had I went sixteen sixteen wins, four losses with this formation. I played this formation right from the start and I didn't change. So yeah, 16 wins, 4 losses. Um, I'm not going to make any excuses. People were just better than me with the 4 losses that I've got. So that's cool. That happens. Um, I was also trying to do my objectives as well amongst this. So um, yeah, just trying to kill 2 birds with 1 stone. But what I found was... Uh, I've, I've got this thing at the minute where I'm tracking back with my strikers. And I'm trying to find ways of not tracking back my strikers. I don't know if you guys have the same issue. Um, because we don't want to pull our defence or our midfield out of position. So we track back with our strikers. I find my strikers in different positions all the time. Which isn't a problem. Especially when you're using players like Berbatov's amazing. Honestly, what a great card Berbatov is. Um, the only things I change in-game with the 424 is I have been using, depending on you know if I need a goal... I will use attacking fullbacks, but I have been using the hug sideline. Hug sideline for this formation is really good because you can switch the ball from your left back to your right back or to your left back to your right wing, for example. And for some reason, their players don't track that run. So you'll find in a few instances with the gameplay, especially if you watch all the gameplay, um, you'll find that sometimes I've got my right back and my right wing or vice versa close together and their their defense is nowhere near and then you can from there you can just you can just pull them apart you can see it in the gameplay it's pretty good Berthoff's really good in the air as well by the way um again i don't normally do player reviews but his 89 i think is what, 22k i'm not sure what his 93 is i packed him um from the van Persie objective believe it or not <laughs> so and of course i'm a massive fan of Berthoff. I've always liked him and in the game he's amazing he's strong he's quick he's agile he has the skills he has yeah he's just an amazing card um i can't imagine it being overly expensive but correct me if i'm wrong um yeah and my rewards for getting 16 and 4 <laughs> was really annoying because i got the 90 rated center back collar twice i got pins twice the icon um I'm just a shed load of dupes and it was like I don't know why I, I do the 16 or 17 wins anymore because I've, my club is that big I need to start reducing it I think um, because it doesn't benefit me but obviously 
for those of you who do want the bigger clubs and do want the best of players, then this is the formation for you. So definitely put this one in your slot. And it is a real good go-to formation. And do you know what I like about this one the most is when you do come up against the 4 3 2 ones, and they've copied that 4 3 2 one from a pro, for example, or from one of the other YouTubers, and they're using the press after possession loss or constant press, this 4 2 4 will literally, you've got your front four against two defenders. You can see that within the first few minutes on how they're going to play. And once you see that, they're really... Unless you're really, really poor at the game, you're going to beat them. Um, I have, I'm not sure why people still use the constant press and things like that, especially when there's now formations out there like this one, like the 4-2-2. Uh, sorry, the 4-4-2. Yeah, the 4-4-2 is back as well. Um, I did have a quick look at that one, and, and quite a lot of people are using the 4-4-2 again, so it's probably a formation that at some point I will probably do. Um, another tactic on but I prefer the 4-2-4 purely because your front four they sit in and around your opponent's box rather than sitting deep um, so you're cutting off that goal kick as well don't know what the guy was doing there with his keeper but anyway uh, yeah so and free kicks don't score many but I mean that was with Reese James as well and it was yeah didn't know he had that in his locker but clearly he did so yeah definitely give this one a try like i say put this one in your slots um because it's going to make a massive difference when you come up against those 4-3-2 wins and, and it's like uh, situations like this that i'm talking about where they're going all out and they're trying to pressure you they want that early goal because once they've got that early goal they're hoping you're going to quit that's that's the be all and end all um and of course you know if you've got the right setup why would you quit you know why would you quit so we're coming up to the end now and there's not much more I can say about this I try and use different players to show that you don't always need the same like you don't need the Ronaldo's or the Eusebio's I like to try different players I was using Hoyland I was using Rashford yeah just trying different players out again as we always do um, so Vieira doesn't score many for me but when he does <laughs> <laughs> They're rockets. That was the power shot. Um, so yeah, let's jump into the instructions. As I was saying, the instructions are are different to probably what you've seen before. So the left back and right back on state back on attack are behind attacking, but inverted. Now I want the left back or right back to sit in between the forward players, basically to sit in between there. So we have a row of six getting forward. So across their 18 yard box, you're going to have six players. The only way they can really pass through that is by hitting a, a, a lobbed ball. Um, and by the time they've kind of realised how to get through it, <laughs> you're already a couple of goals to the good. So it's kind of irrelevant for them, but it's good for us. So yeah, the left back and right back are on, stay back while attacking and inverted. The the two the two centre backs, I almost forgot this, they are on conservative interceptions because otherwise what you find recently is they're too aggressive and they try and step into the ball and the one twos and then you, you you're chasing you're chasing a striker and you never get back in time so these two in particular are on conservative interceptions it makes a massive difference by the way so definitely give that a try the box to box player effectively is on balance cover center the dm is on stay back cover center the two wide players now again this is where they're slightly different they're both on come back on defense stay wide getting behind getting the box crosses the reason they're on stay wide is because these are the left back and right back are on inverted otherwise you'd have them on cut inside overlap now i want my again my left back and right back to sit in between the two front players um to make it a six across that box and then the two strikers stay central getting behind and stay forward so give this one a try this definitely helps against those four three two one players it also helps against the the narrower formations like the four one two one twos uh, the four three one twos as well so definitely give this one a try hit that like button if you like to see comment let me know how you think let me know what you think to this it's slightly different it's a slightly different version from what we're used to right so let me know and subscribe again if you haven't already i would really appreciate it until the next one take care